All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we are gonna be painting the intake manifold that I took off the other day. And we'll see how this goes. I was debating coloring it uh, black or red, but I actually finally decided on white. So I don't know if there's gonna be too many colors in engine bay or how it'll look, but we're gonna try this. So right here, we got the paint. I know it's a little dark, sorry guys. But we have some VHT engine enamel. I got the white. Not really sure if you need this high temperature of paint uh for the intake manifold just because uh i don't think it gets quite as hot as the valve cover obviously so not sure if this is absolutely necessary but you know why not it's in the engine bay it's gonna get hot and then i also got some gloss clear from our last project with the valve cover now i'm debating if i should do the fuel rail either black or red i feel like red would look kind of cool but it might, I don't know, it just might look a little weird. So I might just make it black. Uh, we'll see when I get out there and start painting. But yeah, guys, so that is the plan for today. So let's get out there and let's get to work. All right, guys, so here's the setup. Get all masked off here. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit hard to get to some of these areas. I'm gonna do my best, so. But the main area that you're gonna see, obviously, when it's in the car, is this over here and right here so that's the main parts i'm going to focus on if i miss a couple little spots in the back no biggie i'm gonna try my best so like i said i also got the bracket down here now i don't have the fuel rail out here right now i might do it still uh debating if i want to do the fuel rail or not but we'll see so let's go ahead let's get some adhesion promoter on here and on there and then we will start to paint it Here we go. First coat, the VHT white. Let's see how this turns out, guys. Right, guys so we got about one one and a half coats on the first coat i put on was in that gray the spray can was acting weird so i had to mess with it but it is looking pretty good i mean after just one and a half coats we're gonna put probably about three or four uh, i think the hardest part though is gonna be over here but i think what i want to focus on the most is since this is gonna be at the front of the car i want to make sure when you look inside the engine bay all this looks painted like I said, once it's in the car and the fuel rail is here, you're really only gonna be able to see like right here and down here a little bit. So that's gonna be what I'm focusing on mainly. And I do have the fuel rail over here. I think I'm actually gonna paint it black. I was originally thinking red, but I think black will be a better contrast with the white. I could even just paint it white, but I think it would look a little bit weird if it's just all white over there. But yeah, so we're gonna put on a couple more coats. We're gonna put on the clear coat and then see how it looks all right so we're gonna throw a coat of black on the fuel rail right now if i can get the lid off this thing is on tight jeez first coat let that one dry and then on to the next all right we just got the last coat on it's looking pretty good pretty full coverage now we're gonna do some um, clear coat so I also got a little bit of clear on this as well just to see how it would work because the paint I used for this wasn't actually BHT this was Rust-Oleum and I don't know if it's taking to it that well but we're just gonna let it dry and uh, see how it looks. But you guys can see, I mean, there's obviously a run right there, but there's some little spots that just look a little weird. So we're gonna shoot it a couple more times, see if it 
you know, shines up a little bit, but our main focus is on this. So let's get to the clear coat. All right, so here it is looking pretty decent I mean it's not exactly what I expected but we'll have to see how it looks when it's completely dry and then we'll get the fuel rail this we'll get everything back on the car and we'll just give you guys a quick look at what it all looks like all right guys so here it is here is the finished product I do like it I just think it's kind of funny to have blue white and red but you know overall I think it looks pretty good um in the future though i probably will just end up painting that just some like neutral color like black so it blends in a little bit more or match it with the valve cover but we'll see you guys this is what i'm going to stick with for now now you can't really even see the fuel rail in there i mean you can it's nice and black you know it's not just all disgusting but it does look pretty good but yeah overall pretty happy so yeah guys that is it for today's video now I'm sure I'll be doing more stuff with the engine bay in the future, like doing some more wire talk and that thing. Uh, I think I do want to delete the AC next and just see what else I could delete in there, just reroute or whatever, just to clean it up. Because, you know, the cleaner the engine bay is, what I realized is the easier it is to work around. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.